Hey guys, hope you're all good. So, I wanted to do a video today talking about the direction I'm taking my cycling in because I've had a few people ask kind of where I'm going with it. So, I've actually been doing a lot of mountain biking. The little trails around here just have so much ice on still, but <laughs> that's not a bad thing. Well, that was my trail. I was on. <laughs> I really don't want to turn back because it's pretty awful back there as well. So when in doubt, see it out. I'm not saying I'm very good at mountain biking. I'm actually awful at it. And that actually goes with riding and gravel and off-road in general. I'm terrible, you know, I really am. Like I've got very little confidence and I'm just not very good at it. You know, I would started a roadie and that was my thing. I smashed roads, I was really good, long endurance, you know, just get your head down, get on with it. And that was my thing. And then gravel started coming around and as much as I wanted to be good at it, I just wasn't. I struggle with confidence when it comes to stuff like that. So recently I was doing a little bit of what I call bike porn. So it means like buying and selling bikes. And I came across a Carrera Vulcan and uh, I rode it once, twice. It was this mountain bike, hardtail. And I just kind of thought, God, actually, I feel like I can really push the off-road on this thing. So. I started to take it out a lot more and be practicing off road to build up my confidence so that when I go back to my Richie and go off road on that, I'll have a little bit more technical ability so I can do more races and so I can just have a little bit more fun. I remember many times where I feel like really let down by my technical ability. So first one being the Inca Divide race, if I was better on gravel, I would have killed that race. I've done so much better, but I just was scared of the descents. I was really getting a bad hammering, you know, trying to, trying to make it work. It was actually very unfortunate that I just went into a gravel race when I really had next to no off-road experience. All I did was chuck some 34 mil tires on and hope for the best, and that was pretty silly of me. The next time that I found that I knew that I struggled with kind of off-road riding was I went to the LTD gravel raid uh, with, some, with some friends and uh, there was a Shimano thing there and we were going out in these big groups and I just, I sucked. I was the worst person out of the whole group doing any off-road and when I came away from that I said, Rob, you, you need to fix this and I came back home and got back on the road and I, I did avoid it and I shouldn't have done. And then recently, all these races are popping up, like the last couple of years, like the Atlas Mountain Road race, and you know, all these kind of like Dales Divide, uh, Great British Escapades, and Great British Divide, GB Duro, and I want a piece of that. So I have to learn how to go off road and how to manage this because I absolutely suck at it at the minute. Like, and I think I could really enjoy these races because the more and more I ride on the road, the more and more I want to be off-road. And I know that sounds a little bit weird, but in other countries, they're probably a little bit better with cyclists. In the UK, the roads are getting busier and they weren't built for cyclists. So I'm getting to this point where I want to expand into doing some more fun things and off-road and just to embrace a little bit of what I've never been able to do in the past really. So that is kind of why I wanted to do this video, not to commit to it or anything like that, just to tell you that I'm not gonna be entering mountain bike races any soon, but you will see me in a lot more gravel races and doing a lot more off-road. It will be on the Ritchie, but while I learn, I just want to do it on a mountain bike that if I, smashed into a tree or fell off and broke, it wouldn't bother me. But as my Richie, although it could handle it, I don't want to put it through that. It's got Jure's wheels on, 
you know, as great and amazing as they are, I don't want to be training in winter, you know, and hit something or fall off and crash and damage anything on there, then need it for summer. So that's kind of where I'm at. My cycling isn't changing direction. You will see me if it goes ahead in the race around Netherlands. And also, if the great British escapades goes ahead, you will actually see me going to do that as well. So that's kind of where I'm at. You know, I hope all you guys are good. I hope you're enjoying riding. Now the weather's got a little bit warm in the UK, it's better, but it has been a very long few weeks where it has just been icy as, as heck. So anyway, guys, take care. We'll catch up soon.